heads. Here we are with today's video. Yes, this is the last rebuild around that James Harden 14 deal. If you guys haven't seen my Pacers, my Nets, or my Houston Rockets t uh, rebuild, go check them out, bro. Check them out. The last four videos on the last three videos, pardon me, last three videos on my channels. Go check them out, bro. But yeah, today we're doing a Cleveland Cavaliers Jarrett Allen rebuild. Rebuilding the Cavaliers with Jarrett Allen. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're new around here, go down there, subscribe. That'll be fantastic. It'll help us out a whole bunch. We're trying to hit 4,000 subscribers and we post every single day on NBA 2K21 My League. So if that's something that interests you, go down there, press that red button. It does mean a lot to me and it takes a couple of seconds out of your day. So go down there, subscribe. Also, like the video, helps us out a whole bunch. So this first season, am I going to run Jared Allen at the starting five or am I going to run? You know what? I'm going to start Jared Allen for this season and I'm going to bring Andre Drummond off of our bench to see what happens with that. Um, I might be sending Kevin Porter Jr. down to the G League this year. Something that I didn't think was going to happen, but we might be doing it. Uh, Colin Sexton, Isaac Okoru, and Darius Garland. All three of those guys are going to be getting plenty of minutes. Same with Jared Allen, going to be getting a lot of minutes. Kevin Love, Andre Drummond, Larry Nez Jr., JaVale McGee. Those guys are all players that are probably going to be get, getting traded this rebuild also. So Kevin Porter Jr. will send down the G League for this first season. And uh, probably same with Dean Wade, because... Why not? Well, let's simulate this first season. See how this team does uh, with Jared Allen on the team. Oh, damn. We went 55 and 27. I didn't even know we were going to go like that well. MVP goes to LeBron James and Drummond gets sixth man of the year. Fair enough. Call Beans McGee. And we finish as a two seed in the Eastern Conference. Let's go. Let's go. 26, 2 and 4 for Colin Sexton. 17, 1 and 6 for Garland. Kevin Love, Drummond, Okoru, Jared Allen. We had some good players. Offensively, the Cavaliers were the 14th best team. Does that mean our defense was the best in the league with that differential being the 5th best in the league? Which in theory means we're the 5th best team in the NBA. Cool. Cool. What? I was about to say, how did we make the NBA Finals in the first year? How? I don't know. But we get swept by the Lakers in the NBA Finals anyway. So it was LeBron versus the Cavs. How about it? How about it? So we don't, actually don't have a good pick, which is not what we wanted. We wanted a good pick, but we end up with a 28th pick. Right now, I'm just going to test what Kevin Love's value is with this 28th pick. What we need is another power forward. If we can trade for a young power forward on this team, that would be huge. Jaron Jackson Jr. might be an actual shout here. I'll give you that 28th pick, which has one star value. I'll give you my pick next year as well, and I'll give you some seconds. Would the, I don't think... Hmm. <laughs> I don't think the Grizzlies would actually do this in real life, give up Jaron Jackson, because I know if I was the Grizzlies, I wouldn't. But we're going to be good, so... I'll give you those many firsts. Yeah, we get ourselves Jaron Jackson as our new starting power forward. Which fits the timeline very, very well. Next player, we're probably going to have to... We're going to sign and trade Andre Drummond. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. If we get Jared Allen and Drummond, and then just trade Drummond away. That sounds like a plan. So we'll go over here, we'll sign Jared Allen, and then we'll sign up Andre Drummond. And then we'll have to trade away Andre Drummond, because... We've got our starting center in Jared Allen. We don't need Drummond anymore. So if we trade Drummond... More Christian Wood. He's 25. He fits the timeline. I'm thinking, could it be worth getting Christian Wood? He's 25 years old. He's on a cheap deal. You know what? Let's go through with that Christian Wood deal. Let's do it. Uh, we've got Jarrell Allen as our starting uh, center. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. We'll bring in, bring back Lamar Evans and same with Damian Dobson just for a bit of caps. Cap space. See what goes on there. Oh my goodness. We have so much cap as well. We could honestly go after a Goron Dragic and then just trade Goron away. What if we got Kevin Love back? We just got Kevin Love back and he's going to be our backup power forward. I think we've put together a pretty dang good team. Let's have a squiz. See how everyone progressed. Colin Sexton went up three. 
Jaron Jackson went up two. Kevin Porter went up nine. Jarrett went up two. Uh, Kevin Love actually did go up one. Garland went up four. Ten overalls Dylan Windler went up. Ten! Two for Mark Elfort. By the way, we do also have Mark Elfort on our team. We gave up Goran Dragic. That's it. Uh, Jetty Oseman, Dean Wade. We have a very good team right now. And we've got the single training camp, which we're going to go over here to Darius Garland, send him to perimeter defense just to back up backcourt defense a little better. But we're going to be running Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Isaac Okoro, Jaron Jackson, and Jarrett Allen as our starting five. We then have Kevin Porter Jr., Christian Wood, Kevin Love, Dylan Windler coming off of our bench. Bro, we're having a 10-man rotation. We can't have Mark L. Fultz and just not play him. You know, we've also got Jetty Oseman, who we don't need either. Because Dean, because what? Dylan Windler's turned into an absolute beast. So if we do that... Isaac Okoro is starting, isn't he? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we could maybe even get rid of Jetty Oseman. Save us some cap space in the future. Get ourselves someone like a Duncan Robinson that might be able to shoot the ball a little bit for us. He's not going to be getting any minutes. It's all right. So our first option, scoring option. I'm going to go Sexton, Jaron Jackson, and then Garland. I think that's our best option. We might be running a pace and space system. Seven second system. Pardon me. And just looking at JB Bickerstaff's stats. He's not exactly the, an offensive coach, so we might be tr getting rid of him. Uh, power rankings, the Cleveland Cavaliers are projected 15th. Let's see what happens. Yes, last year we were the second seed in the East, so you never know. And yet, here we are with a 54-28 and 28 record. LeBron wins himself MVP once again. We get JB Bickerstaff Coach of the Year. So does that mean we were the one seed? Right on. Right on. Okay, sure thing. Player stats. Sexton put up 22 and 4. Jaron Jackson 19, 4 and 1. Garland 15, 5 and 1. Like, our team all round scored. That's great. Offensively, we're the best team. Defensively, though, we were 13th worst on the defensive end, and our differential was the second best in the entire NBA. So we're going up against the Hornets here in the first round, and we win in five games. The Celt ticks shit 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 no no way we can lose in the second round we just went to the nba finals and oh my god we clutched that out we clutched that out i was as you can tell i counted us out i counted us out i honestly counted us out of that game i didn't think we were going to win that gee whiz we're not going to win this one either yeah eight point margin we're out damn it Shit! Shit! The Nets are the champions. What do you expect? It's the newly formed Nets. Going into this final season, we're going to have to make a move or something. Hopefully, someone develops like crazy, though. Actually, you know what? We might just fire St JB Bigger stuff and bring in Frank Vogel, a better offensive coach. That should hopefully do it. We're going to need to re-sign Colin Sexton, which we will. We'll re-sign Jared Allen also and... Uh, not Yeah, Jared Allen and Jaron Jackson Jr., I got them mixed up there. Jaron Jackson is prepared to match. I'm prepared to match anything for Jaron Jackson. Awesome. We have no cap space either. We'll take on Devon Hall. Hall. Sure. Why the heck not? Let's just go straight down the player progression. See what happened before. What players have progressed. Uh, Jaron Jackson's now an 88. Colin's gone up one. Kevin Porter one. Jared Allen one. One. Two for Garland. Two for Okoru. 13 for Devon Hall. 13! My man's on steroids, for sure. That man's on steroids. We got three training camps. Uh, perimeter shooting going to... No, not Kevin Porter. We'll go Colin Sexton, sure. We'll go perimeter shooting to Garland also. And perimeter defense to Kevin Porter Jr. Sounds good to me, mate. Good to me. And hopefully this starting five can get it done for us. Please, I really want this team to go straight in and win a championship right now we've changed our head coach hopefully that changes it up and we're projected four let's see how we do wow we win 61 and 21 Giannis wins himself mvp good on you so bonus sixth man all right all right we get coach of the year with frank vogel does that mean we get any all nba performers from the Cavs? no okay but we do finish up as a one seed yet again in the Eastern Conference. Colin Sexton puts up 24, 2 and 3. Jaron Jackson puts up 21, 4 and 1. Garland 18, 1 and 6. 
Not bad, not bad. Kevin Love off the bench, Christian Wood off the bench, Allen off, no, actually starting Jared Allen, isn't he? Offensively, best team. Defensively, we were in the 10. We were sixth best defensively, and we were the best differential uh, team around. And we beat, ooh, we're taking on the heat here in the second round. They don't have Jimmy Butler anymore. I'm not as scared of this team then. As they win game one. As they win game one. Okay. Alright. Alright then. Alrighty then. Are we able to just, you know, come out here and win the next few, please? That's great. Thank you. That's what we want. Eastern Conference Finals against the Nets. Against a Nets team with Kyrie, Harden, and Durant. Shit. Go game by game. We win game one. Game two is theirs. So that's not good. That's not good. They win game three. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. We tie the series up. We've tied and we've gone up. We have gone up against the Brooklyn Nets. If we can beat any team, if we can beat the Nets, we can beat any NBA team. And currently, do we do it to go to the NBA Finals? I mean, we got to go into the NBA Finals to just be in with a shot. So I'm going to jump in and try and solidify our spot in the Finals. We are in Brooklyn. Funnily enough, we are in Brooklyn. And I have Christian Wood guarding KD. Not a big fan of that. But I uh, guess it's kind of been working. We are up. It's kind of been working, I suppose. Jared Allen. Oh, he's pulled up for the midi. That's going in. It's, oh, he's missed. Kevin Durant has missed. Why is Kevin Love in that point guard? That shooting guard, sorry. Why is Kevin Love guarding James Harden? <laughs> why? Why? What the heck is that? Why is... I might need to call a timeout here and just... <laughs> make sure that our starters have come out and that we can play a proper rotation. Because I'm not playing Kevin Love at the two, at the two there. Alright, we got our starters in. Hopefully this means... Ooh. That we can get something going. Green bean from Isaac Gagori. Uh, let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Let oh. You know what? Either way, we're gonna. It's gonna be a mismatch against KD. No matter what we did, KD is always gonna be a mismatch. It, we could try our hardest um, to do it. Maybe Anthony Davis is probably the best matchup against Kevin Durant. That was good defense, forced a turnover. That's costly for them. Because if we can score off this is a two-possession game for them, and they can't come back. Well, they can. It just it means we have to miss a lot of shots. We're just going to pull up for that. <laughs> it was. I was hopeful for that. I mean, I probably should have played it a lot smarter just then. Just try and get the um, actual points. It's all right. We get the ball back. We get the ball back. We chuck it over here. We chuck it to Isaac. Well, I was going to chuck it to Isaac and Corey, but... We might chuck it to Sexton, then Akoru, and back, and... Oh, he's missed the three-pointer! If they hit a three here, GG. Well, not GG, but... It's going to be a... Oh, and Jaron Jackson get dunked on by KD. Two-point game. Chuck the ball. Oh, hey, make that a four-point game. And have fun coming back from that. It's three possess... Shut up, I'm bad at math. And uh, on this possession, we need to play good defense. They need to hit the three. We don't have a timeout. We don't have a timeout. Yep, I thought they were going to foul as well. So I was trying to get the ball in and then chuck it so I could waste some time. But they do have a foul to give. Chuck it over there. Oh my god. Kyrie comes out of nowhere and just fouls me every single time. I press A, but the foul is what registers. Because I want to waste as much time as possible. I do. And by the way, that two, that three-pointer that I thought they'd hit, it was a two. So now we're up by three again. Woo, they need to hit a three to send it to overtime. That's that, if that's what they want, or a quick possession. A quick three. Okay, they're going for it. They're going for it. They're... Going for it again. They've hit it. It's a tie game with six seconds left. I just need to score. Need to score to win. Need to score to win. Need to score to win. And we green it! 0 0.3 seconds. Clutch bucket from Colin Sexton. Let's go! Let's go! We're through the NBA Finals. 
That was a clutch bucket. We needed that. And we've smashed it out of the park. Woo-hoo-wee! Going through the finals, we are. Let's go. And we're through the finals, which we're taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Uh-oh. I mean, Isaac Okoro should shut down Luka. And then Jarrett and Jaron should shut down Pazingas. We win game one. Game one is crucial to win right now, and we've done it. Oh, no. They could come back still here, mate. We're up 3-1. I think we've just won the championship, lads. I reckon. We are the champions in our final season. Sing it, boys. We're the champions with Colin Sexton winning finals MVP. Let's go. We got the Cavs an NBA championship without LeBron James. That's a dub, boys. Dub. Yeah, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys all have enjoyed it. If you have... If you did, please be sure to go down there, like it. That'd be absolutely amazing. Helps show your support for the channel. Also, if you're new around here and haven't subscribed, go down there, hit that red button. I really, really appreciate it whenever someone does. And I mean, if you want to stay up to date with the content, it's one of the easiest ways to do so. So just go down there, subscribe. It does mean a lot. Cheers. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!